welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids in this lecture we are going to solve some example based on centroid of composite linear elements so let us start with the problem this is the data of the problem given find centroid of wire abcd shown in figure so here figure is given where a wire ABCD has been shown. This wire made up of three parts wire AB, wire BC, and wire CD. Now, to solve the problem of centroid, the first step is to check whether there any axis of symmetry is available or not. In this figure, we can see there is no axis of symmetry parallel to X or Y axis. If axis of symmetry is available in that case we can directly determine one of the centroid of figure but in this case there is no axis of symmetry so let us move to the next step in the second step we need to finalize the axis of reference axis of reference should be selected in such a way that the figure remains in the first quadrant so let us select the axis of reference. So here the axis of reference selected in such a way that the figure is now in the first quadrant. To determine the centroid of this composite linear element, the equation which we have seen that we have to use. So let us write the equation to determine x bar and y bar. We'll start with X bar first. So equation of X bar is L1 X1 plus L2 X2 plus L3 X3 divided by L1 plus L2 plus L3. So first of all, we have to determine L1, L2, L3 and X1, X2, X3. From the figure, length of each three portion are very clear. Let us say axis wire AB that is part 1, wire BC that is part 2 and wire CD that is part 3. So here we can easily determine L1, L2 and L3. L1 that is length of part 1 that is AB it is given in the figure 20 centimeter. Same way length of wire 2 that is BC is 15 centimeter and wire CD that is third part the length is 10 centimeter. So let us write it. Now we need to work out X1, X2 and X3. So for that let us mark centroid of each component first. This point is centroid of wire AB which is at center of it. We know that in a wire, straight wire, the centroid is at the center of wire. So these three points are centroid of part AB, BC and CD respectively. Now we need X1, X2 and X3 to determine X bar. X1 that is centroidal distance of centroid of first part from y axis means parallel to x axis so this distance will be equal to x1 total length of wire is 20 and this is the center point of wire so the distance of centroid along x axis will be half of it so it will be 10 centimeters now this is the centroid of wire 2 and in the figure it is very clear that the distance of the centroid from y reference axis that is this much distance and is equal to 20 centimeters. This is the centroid of third figure and the distance of this centroid from y reference axis means distance along x axis is this much. So this distance we know it is 20 centimeter and this distance will be half of CD because this is center point. So we can write 20 means this distance 
and plus this much distance that is total 10 by 2. So now we have worked out value of x1, x2, x3 and l1, l2, l3. Let us keep every value in the equation to determine x bar. So after calculation, value of x bar has been obtained as 16.67 cm. Now let us work out y bar. So L1, L2, L3 are known. Now we have to work out Y1, Y2, Y3. This distance is centroidal distance of each component part from reference X axis. So Y1 is the distance of centroid of first part from this reference X axis. Now we can see this point is lying on the axis of reference only. So distance of that point from reference axis will be 0. So here we can write y1 that is equal to 0. Now y2 is the distance of centroid of second wire from reference x axis. So it is this much distance. As this is the center point of wire, this distance will be half of it. So y2 will be half of 15 that is 7.5 cm. Now y3 that is centroid of third figure or third wire from reference x axis. So this that is this much distance. Now from the figure it is very clear that this distance is 15 cm. So we can write y3 is equal to 15 cm. Now let us equate all this value in the equation of y bar. So after the calculation value of y bar has been obtained as 5.83. Now let us mark the centroid in the figure. So this point is centroid of the figure which is at 16.167 meter along x axis and 5.83 along y axis. So this way such problem can be solved. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in the comment box. I will be there to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much.